Boopity bop. Give it a minute. A couple of videos have been cut off. Beginning. Not that it's important. I usually ramble for a minute there. <clears throat> How's it going? Welcome back. I'm going to continue on with our character action tutorial. Character action development tutorial. Um, really hoping to do this last week. I'm sorry. I uh, had some errands to do. And like at the end of the day, it was like, like four, and I've been running around. It's like, I could totally do it. And then I got on my computer and I was like, nah. <laughs> anyway, I'm always stuck this, uh, making this decision about like what to stream, basically. Um, so this morning, you know, I was like, and, and I knew this is what we we're going to do anyway. I was like, well, let's develop a character too. Thought about doing something, you know, really generic. Um, but it'd be fun to develop a character. I, uh, you know, it's like, might take a while. I know I always get in these spots where it's just like kind of annoying to watch. People probably just skip ahead. But it actually went really well. And then, <laughs> like, I should have streamed that. But, you know, maybe in the end here, it would be the best of both worlds. We're going to go through my thought process as best as I can remember. Um, it actually only took about an hour, even less. Double check the stream. Yeah, yeah, we're live, sweet. So yeah, um, generally I start by, I mean, sometimes I'm just sketching, I have an idea for a character and boom, like it just happens. Um, in this case, you know, I, I needed a bit of inspiration. I, mean, I went through my character folder. I won't show it because there might be some loot stuff in there. Not that that's bad, it's just, you know, for in this context, it's uh... anyway. <laughs> um, and there are a few things that stuck with me, but I didn't realize that they had. Um, it felt a little fruitless at first. I went through it all and I was just like, uh, you know, I kind of want an idea for a style for the face. Um, the generally like Etrian Odyssey, it was kind of, and that's kind of a default. When I'm going for cutesy, it's a little bit tough usually anyway. And we're making a character action game anyway. Um, so I felt all right, and so I began sketching, and this is that first layer I did. Um, you know, I before I even started today, I had sort of a head shape in mind. Um, and when I say head shape, it's more like, um, like their hair shape, because you know these are a little more cutesy characters. Um, and so I played with a few things, and it was she's kind of just looking like Dante first. I knew I wanted to make a girl. Um, and so I was like, well, one thing that I kind of was forgetting is that I, I know I wanted like her hair kind of like tall and coming down like that. Um, and then I just messed around a bit and I liked her bangs coming out like that. Um, and then at first I was like, yeah, I have like a, a little ponytail coming out back here. Um, but I didn't like that. So I was like, well, let's try a different shape. Want something, you know, just like this. And I was like, yeah, it's better. I like that. Um, this is looking better here. Kind of hard to talk. I think that's part of the problem is that talking the whole time is uh, kind of, I don't know if distract is the right word, but I feel like I struggle a little for whatever reason, you know. I'm getting what, getting what I need to get going. Um, and then, you know, it's like proportions. So, you know, usually I like to start with the legs, kind of, not always. Um, but that's, in my head, that's where a lot of the proportion stuff happens. Um, like doing that, and we just wrapped it in a bit. Um, and then, you know, eventually we came to this here on the left. Um, one of the main things is like, I wasn't sure, you know, we're still figuring things out. So, you know, I knew I wanted to have some boots. Um, the goal of this character is to touch on a lot of, I don't recommend this as like a general, I mean, I definitely do not recommend this as a, design philosophy, but in this context, I, th I felt it was good to just touch on a lot of sort of, you know, iconic characters that are character action in the modern and older sense, um, you know, like Zelda, and, I guess, Link and Mario and stuff. So, you know, I wanted these boots, um, the big boots were the only thing I really had in mind. So I gave her these boots, um, you know, I wanted her to 
you know, I didn't really know what I was doing or what I had in mind yet. So I was like, oh, maybe she has like a shirt or jacket like hanging down around her waist, kind of like Cora. Um, you know, you can use clothes and, you know, other accessories to give people a stronger body shape if you don't necessarily want them to be muscly or whatever. Um, so we had this. I was like, yeah, that's all right. But I wanted a little bit more cartoony with like the hands. You know, I wanted more of that those like Mario like glove looks. Because again, we, we wanted, we're going for a look that's, um, or, you know, in regards to this tutorial, something that, not just character action, again, like Devil May Cry, but, um, you know, action adventure games too, Mario. So anyway, went to this and I just read it real quick and I was like, well, let's make her like bigger. I was like, this is maybe a little bit too muscly. They have these real thick thighs here. Um, I wasn't against it yet. Um, this was really boxy. So I wasn't into that. Um, but I felt like we had a good starting point. So then I just went to the face here and I went front view. I did like a three fourths view like a couple times and it like wasn't uh, working out too hot. Um, the first look I did was, you know, this classic like huge eye look, something like this. I was like, oh, that's okay. Um, but, you know, I copied that over, new layer here. I did more like this. Um, in my head, I usually think of um, Kill a Kill. She had some like tough eyes like that, um, where the um, the bottom eyelid comes down and her pupils are a little bit thinner like that, or her irises, whatever. But I wanted it to be not so tough. You know, I still wanted this sort of cutesy look for whatever reason. I don't know, it just it felt right. We did that, it turned out all right. Went pretty quick, about as quick as folk there. Um, and so I started developing that. You know, we had this. Um, you might notice, like, and maybe this is obvious to some people, but, you know, a lot of times I don't know how stuff is going to attach practically. Um, but, you know, I use clothes and hair um, to, and even sometimes, like, um, anatomy in a real gestural way um, to create something, you know, create a style, create a, an expression. But... I don't necessarily know how it's going to connect yet, but you shouldn't get bogged down on that. That um, is actually a useful constraint in the end because you don't want to lose your gesture. Like that's so important to creating a good character. Um, so no, I'll just keep that in mind. So I began developing her. Um, did a couple different faces. I settled on this more like cat-like one. Gave her some little studs in her ears. Um, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted yet. Fleshed out maybe how this will be like an easier shape to model because we're going to be you know modeling this in 3D which we haven't done yet we're going to see how that goes when we get there um and I wanted a Brett because I love Bretts like in the hair like that I can't and I you know waxed a little bit about how I grown my hair out hopefully you can get that going again myself so we went on to this layer um at the time I felt um you know maybe that cat face is a little not quite right so I was like oh let's give her a grumpier face just to see how it feels. Um, I popped in that ponytail there. Um, actually started like this. I was like, ah, oh, that seems a little boring. So I, you know, went like that. I was like, ah, oh. did like another curl on the inside. So, you know, I like that. It's a cool little shape there. Um, you know, we still have this big gestural thing, but it gives it a little more style here. Um, sorry, I know I say um and like a lot, but I don't know when that'll ever change. <laughs> Just went through her body a bit. Still had those big, thick thighs. Um, it felt right at the time. And I knew, again, I wanted these bigger hands here, but I was, I couldn't, it wasn't working quite yet. Um, so I was just, you know, sort of fleshing this out. Working on some other parts of the anatomy I, I liked better, um, or the proportions that I liked better. I mean, like I mentioned, this one was pretty boxy, not into it. This one just had, like, thin limbs, wasn't quite doing it. Um, I forgot to mention, like, in the hair, you know, I was really feeling Link a little bit, um, and that was an, it, I don't know if it was intentional, but it was like, that made me settle on it, um, because again, it's, for the sake of this, I feel like it's a good design decision to, you know, just sort of do little call-outs and references to all these characters we all love, um, and then, like with her grumpy eyes here, it was like really feeling like Wind Waker Link, which is the best Zelda. I don't know. I might like Link to the Past a little bit more, but Wind Waker is definitely at least second one of my top favorite games. Also, my favorite game that I don't own. I always borrowed it or rented it, unfortunately. 
I think I've said that probably like five times, of course, on my streams. But. Anyway, got to that point, you know, I was feeling good about this. Um, so we copied that layer over, started working a little bit more. Um, I, her thighs were actually like even thicker when I was first doing it. Um, and so I toned that down. I was just, I couldn't think about what I wanted exactly for her clothes. And I was like, you know, like you keep thinking about those overalls, like because of Mario. And so I was like, just do it, you know, see where it takes you. I pop those in. Um, during my search through my character folder, it's just like whenever, you know, on Twitter or anywhere, any picture I like, I just add it to a folder. And the sort of like catch all folder that's not memes or jokes or just funny stuff is um, character. They're usually characters. And there was this dope, and I meant to keep it open, but it is deep in my folder. I don't want to like go look for it again. I'm sorry. But it's this Mario and Luigi, and they are just so stylish. Like, they're really cute and really cool. And, like, Mario has a hoodie on for his undershirt with his overalls, and Luigi has a um, a turtleneck on, and he had his pant legs rolled up. And I was like, that is the tightest shit I've seen in a long time. Um, it's great. It's You may have seen it. So I did that. You know, I was drawing her out here. I um, started by, you know, adding these pant legs. I think I actually did the boots first. I knew I wanted these boots, so I, I really... Took my time, I didn't sketch too fast, getting these boots going. Um, you know, call it to Mario. And in that same picture, they had some tough boots. Like, it's a really cutesy picture. They're super stylish. Um, you know, Luigi has some pins on his overalls. I thought I messed with that a little bit, too. And that influenced maybe carrying on a little too hard. Um, uh, at this point, I'm still struggling between sort of what world she's in. You know, should she have, you know, those sort of like Mario sort of um, Mickey Mouse gloves? I wasn't sure. I tried no gloves. I tried a little bit of armor. I mean, they're really quick. You probably wouldn't even, it was, you know, scribbles like this. You probably wouldn't even tell what I was thinking. Um, want a little like slanted belt just to create, you know, something a little fresher. Or, you know, just break up the plainness of her overalls. Although they look pretty cool, like just like this. That's kind of cool. Um, and I was trying to like not do fingerless gloves, but I did it and I was like, that is dope. Like, I like it a lot. So I was like, you know, let's just do it. Um, and, and part of it was because I, you know, I had something in mind, but it's not necessarily what the character wanted or the world wanted. So you just got to trust those instincts and go back and forth. So we go here and I was struggling with that. You know, I gave her a sword. A more traditional, like, well, maybe not traditional, but like a Buster Sword or like Dante's like big sword. And they, it didn't feel right. It really felt like an early 2000s sort of like, and even at this point, she's kind of feeling that way. Um, I don't want to like poo poo certain art styles, but like Dark Cloud and like, um, oh shoot, what is the name of that series? Oh no, they're like these roguelikes on Dreamcast. Evo maybe is what they're called. Um, you've seen the style. They're kind of cutesy, kind of tough. Um, I kind of have a disdain for overly designed, I mean, characters in general, but they'll do it with the weapons too, and I'm, I'm just not into it. I like, I don't know. It's a personal preference, but I just feel like there's maybe something a little more past... Uh, everything's subjective, so maybe we shouldn't say that. Anyway, so I'm sketching around, and I was like, you know, maybe just like a knife. So this is just a scabbard. Um, I didn't actually flesh out the knife yet. You know, just a big, dumb knife, like, you know, a butterfly sword, maybe. Might be something more, like, battle-related that you can give a reference for, but just a big, dumb knife. And I was like, you know, that's cool. Um, you know, there's something edgy about knives. Like, you know, we live in this world, or, like, or you know, this video game world, in general. You know, the zeitgeist of video games is, like, you know, swords and guns and grenades and stuff. But there's something about a knife. It's like a little bit closer to reality, so they seem a little bit more tough and dangerous. So um, it just seemed cool, and it kind of just gave her a little more character, um, you know, separated her from other stuff. It seems a little more practical in a way, like, because she's going to be sort of adventure -y. You know, we're still figuring that out. I also was, like, really struggling. Let's see, was it on this layer? Yeah, I can't remember. Um, I'll just mention it now. Um, you know, I was really sort of... Still trying to figure this out. Um, I was like, well, what if her overalls like drop down like this? Um, 
you know, maybe she just has a tank top up here. And I was like, isn't that Winry? Like, I know I think she has, like, a black top. And I was like, god damn it. Like, I was, like, really mad. I was like, I just made Winry. Because, especially with, like, the ponytail. I don't, I'm not, like, a huge, I like that show a lot. I'm just not a fanatic about it. So I don't, it felt like Winry. Like, maybe there's some differences. Can't remember if I mentioned. I wasn't feeling the ponytail very much. So I gave her these sort of pigtails. I tried, like, doing, like, two, like this, too. I was like, yeah, I like that. She seems a little more younger. Um... And, you know, this was coming together, but it was, in the moment, I was liking it. But then, you know, I sat for a minute and checked her out to see, you know, how I was feeling about the design. Um, and I went back, and I think it's important to do stuff like that. I actually put it on the other side. It may seem trivial, but it's, you know, sometimes having, you know, we have the bangs, like, swooping this way. And then we'll have the ponytail swooping this way. But I kind of like it going the same way. And when we model it out, we may change that. Um, but the pigtails, they felt too young, and, like, I was like, you know, I kind of, I don't want her to be that, you know. I, the whole time, she was kind of feeling like a mechanic, and maybe that's why I was, like, feeling Winry. Um, from um, Full Metal Alchemist, if you're not familiar with the reference. That's her name, right? I'm going to feel dumb if that's not her name. <laughs> but, um, any chat, lords? No, no, we might. That doesn't seem to work. So, anyway... You know, she was feeling like a mechanic, and it's like, she's... We're making a character action game. She needs to be a fighter. Like, she... You know, maybe she can still have some adventure elements about her, but really, core of this is about being a battle lord. So, you know, let's let's make her tougher. So I got rid of that, brought the ponytail back, thought that was pretty cool. Um, I was like, you know, it'd be pretty badass if she had a tattoo. So this anchor tattoo is gross. I just, I couldn't think of anything good yet. Um, and gross is a strong word. I mean, maybe it's okay. But I, I wanted something tough there that reflected her personality. I just don't know what that is yet. We'll figure that out. And we, we probably won't texture her for a while. Um, we're going to model and um, rig her today, hopefully. I mean, that's our goal today. So, yeah. I went back. You know, I had the overalls dropping down, but I didn't like that. I brought that up. Got rid of the pigtails. Went back to the ponytail. I liked it better. So I settled there, and then to close it out, you know, I did that tattoo. I thought, you know, that would be sick. Flames or a skull. I like the idea of a skull, um, but I, something a little less generic is something that she needs. So we went here, and, you know, I wasn't loving the knife. I think partly just because it was um, just kind of generic. Um, I redid, like, her, um, her torso here. This actually might have been the point where I... Well, no, because it was when she had the point. I don't know. But anyway, I just sort of redid some stuff. Did a little pack here. I can't remember if I mentioned. And some of these other ones, I did like a little pack here. Just, you know, adventuring pouch, just to give it some character. Um, but I know, you know, we want some guns. Because um, we're making a character action game. So I was like, you know, maybe the holster will be here. That's pretty cool. Um, and then I wasn't, I wasn't loving the knife. Um, I go back to it. I mean, I think we're going to stick with that. I think it'll be cool. Uh, flesh out the hair more. Gave it a little bit more attitude here. Um, I think that really makes you look a little bit different. Um, uh, different's not the word I'm looking for. Um, just better. And I did a little tuft of hair there. Just to, This side was really plain. Just get a little something, something there. Um, you know, character action games are also called stylish action games. And so I really felt like she was lacking style. So I was like, you know, I was really trying not to do hoop earrings because I just do them by default because I really like them. But I put them on there and I'm like, yo, she is looking badass. Like, and that's what we want, right? Like, we're a character action um, character. We're tough. You know, we're a stylish action character. And, and it made her feel a little more, you know, just like a personality. Redid the belt a little bit. I wanted it to be a little bit more modern. I'm trying to... You know, bring in elements that will give you a better sense of the world and give you a sense of kind of the danger of the world. Like sometimes when things are closer to real, it's like things are more dangerous in a way. You know, real things can happen, as you might say. At the very last moment, I kind of gave her a bigger shoulder here. Because again, you know, I had kind of lost sight of that she is a fighter. Like, she's out to battle monsters or battle somebody, you know? 
And then finally we came to this one. Brought back the sheath for the knife. Um, we'll do a better job of that. Um, gave her a little bit more muscle, like all around. And now, like, I'm really liking this character. Like, I think she's really cool. Got the barrette, um, the earrings, you know. Uh, there's this sentiment that's not necessarily wrong. That to create a timeless character, you need to use elements that are a little timeless. Or not of your time. But at the same time, I think that's, like, that's wrong. I think you should really... It's It's not... You know, I heard a lot in like art school that it's your job to reflect your times. And it's like, it's your job to do whatever the hell you want. Like, you're an artist. You're here to express yourself. And, you know, maybe <laughs> going back against what I just said is, you know, don't be afraid to be stylish. Like, we look at, like, The World Ends With You. Like, that game is about style and expression and clothing and culture. And it's badass. Um, so don't be afraid. Like, to do stuff like that. Um, and, and some stuff, it's like, it became timeless. You know what I mean? I think about, I feel like the, like, Fist of the North Star characters hold up pretty well. Um, but it was, a lot of their stuff was, you know, I mean, it's all like, well, not all of it, but Kenshiro at least is just Road Warrior, right? And that was just leather jackets being tough and, I don't know. Don't be afraid of that. It's... Like, I don't know. I could go on a huge rant. I just don't be afraid of that. Because I, I could go on a tear, but we'll just leave it at that. So anyway, like, I'm, I was loving that. Um, I think we'll do that. So we will. Got real quick. I'll take a sip of tea. Went back to the knife. I actually did, like, a sort of a Bowie knife. Because um, I want it to be, like, kind of dangerous looking. I've, I've always liked that contrast where you have cutesy characters but realistic weapons. Um, it's actually a nitpick I have with like Elfelt from Guilty Gear. Like all her guns are cutesy, and that's fine. But it's like if she was like this bride, had these like real ass looking guns, like ugh. with that hint of like Guilty Gear style on those designs. Oof, ooh, it would have been good. I think. I mean, Elfelt's pretty cool. I hate her big dumb ears, but like her ear hat, like it's stupid. But I also think her design would have been better. If like, there's already a problem with characters having to be sexy lady characters, but you can still be sexy if you have a sexy figure and you're wearing modest clothes. Like, I think her bright outfit's a little dumb. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting on a different rant here. Anyway, let's get to it. So pop open Blender. Here, this part... I'm a little bit more worried about um just to feel like it might just take like a really long time but that's okay that's why I wanted to do it last week I just I didn't want too big of a gap between some of the more practical like, stuff that people might not know because this is stuff you can kind of find elsewhere but uh, it's my hope that we'll be able to provide some Other useful info as we model this concerning like what our needs might be for this type of game. Think about a name for her a lot too. I couldn't think of it yet. At first, I was thinking of like what are cool or tough names, but maybe like I don't know. If you didn't know, maybe this is obvious to so some people. It wasn't, but like in Undertale, like Toriel, because she is the tutorial character. So something like that. I was thinking about, but uh, anyway. So, open Blender. Uh, I forgot. Let's see. I wanted to put the... Gosh darn it. I meant to do this before I started this, just so I can have the um, mouse notation on here. There we go. That was going to be a little bit harder. A little bit bigger. Hopefully that's okay. Wait, okay, that's giant. <laughs> Never that always happens where I'm like oh, what you want?
That should be good. Alrighty. Hopefully it doesn't distract me too much. If it does, I won't turn it off. Um, I recommend generally, this character is going to be simpler, but generally you'll want to make like a really accurate character sheet. So it's like, we'd want to make her from the front view. And then we're thrilled already. And then match up everything from the side view. Her nose here. Here's what I do. And then, you know, making it really, really accurate. Everything's like perfectly lined up. It helps a ton when you're modeling. Um, not quite right. We would do a better job. But stop. <laughs> but it gives you a better sense of what you'll need. It, it just makes it way easier when you're modeling that look like shit. But <laughs> it, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. She's going to be pretty simple. Um, we won't until get into all these details yet. So anyway, what we do want to do grab that. I'm going to go into Photoshop real quick. I copied that layer, um, then paste her in here. I had this on here. So yeah, I meant to mention, I was like trying to go through some like quick like weapon designs. I didn't love that gun. Um, I didn't love the knife I made either. We'll, we'll do some better stuff when we get to actual modeling. Um, sometimes I find it easier to just, well, you know, I'm not even gonna say that because it's not necessarily true. <laughs> even sometimes like, um, well, okay, what I was going to say is I just don't want to give you bad habits. You should always sketch. It's just, it's always bad. What I was going to say is sometimes you can get away with not sketching too much. Whoops. Image is a crop. I thought I had like a tutorial one going older, like for, I, don't, I couldn't find it this morning when I saved that first one. Um, you will. I think you can maybe do one. I know you can do working Photoshop files for Unity. I just I don't know if you can for blank. <clears throat> so we're saving this so that we can go into Blender. And hit end. So there's two. There's the T menu and the N menu. You can press T or N to pop them up. I believe that's what they're called. At least that's what I've heard them called. You might mean transform or tools. I don't know. Anyway, N over here. Background images. Yes, please. So you got to check mark it. Then you got to add an image. And then you've got to open an image. We'll go to our desktop. And we'll drop her in there. We want to think about, you know, the size of our character. You can correct this, obviously. Um, oh, I thought I had this open. Let's go back to our tutorial. Anybody? Pop in. Get how tall these are. One, two, two and a half, I think. I thought they were three, but maybe it is just two and a half. No, it's two. All right, that makes more sense. I believe they're two. It doesn't matter that much, but where does it say height two? It even says it. You goose. I make it bigger unless we made the wings. Oh, the the collider was <laughs> trying to. <laughs> it's like it's not working. So that was just a collider. So that generally translates to right here. Well, let's see. Let's 
Oh, I'll zoomed out too far. Don't worry about what I'm clicking around with yet. We're gonna I'll just set something up. So it's about two right here. And you can do import scaling in there. And it, it I don't want to say it doesn't matter because it does. Um, but it, when you're just getting started, you can kind of just have it however you want. Feeling okay about this? Um, the only problem is if you were like zoomed in way tons and like you're kind of just you're getting rid of fidelity. Like it's you know these are floats, so they're I don't want to say like infinite fidelity because that's not true at all. Um, but you know you just don't want to be zoomed in tons. We could zoom out more if we wanted. Uh, and part of it's going to be how much we can tolerate if this image is pixelated or not. Uh, so we'll just go like this. Start from the beginning. So generally what I do when I open a new Blender file, I um, I delete all this stuff. The lights and the camera and the <laughs> and the cube that's already in there. Um, when you make a new, you do Shift A to add, Shift to add. And then we do Mesh. You can start with a cube or a plane. Generally start with a cube for characters. Uh, a lot of times I just do a plane when I'm doing environment stuff. It doesn't matter that much. It's just but it will go wherever your 3D cursor is and you left click to do that. So if you get messed up, you do Shift S to change your... Oh, you can do snap stuff too. I didn't know that. There's so much to Blender. And you only get better and better. I know it can be intimidating at first. But we're gonna do cursor to selected. Or excuse me, <laughs> cursor to center. And we'll do Shift A and we'll go ahead and add a cube. And hit Z. Hopefully, you know, the notation will, if there's something I forget to narrate. We're going to go right here because we're going to do a mirror modifier. We're going to start by just putting it onto the side here. Um, for now, I feel like we should raise her up. What is it? Please, it was way down here. Okay. We're gonna go to the Y. We're gonna pop it up here and we'll put her feet. That baseline there. I feel like that'll work better. I generally like to start with the head. Um, you can see she's a little off center. That's gonna give us a bit of problems at first. You know, because I did this was just a character sketch. It's, just, it's not um, a modeling reference sketch, which is that thing I talked about before where you want her perfectly straight on, perfectly side view. There may be times where you want might some other angles. I generally find it okay to do that. With my monsters, I generally just start with the sketch here. With characters, you know, humans, like I want a little bit more accuracy, and especially when they have like detailed faces and stuff. Although I've only done one human so far for Citadel Deep. So, we have this cube. Go ahead and do face select, right click X, faces. So we delete that face. The reason is because we're gonna do a mirror modifier. And we won't need that face in there. I'm gonna drag this up a little bit. We're gonna click here, go to properties. We're gonna click on the wrench, which is modifiers. I believe. Let's see what they call it. Modifier. Add modifier. Mirror. What was on the side. There it is. And we're gonna by default it's on X, but we want that. Um, you can do merge or not merge. So merge. If we grab this, is that clipping? Thinking about clipping. It'll, I don't know what merge does then. Oh, so merge means they actually join those vertices. Doesn't matter too much. Clipping means it'll stick to stuff that is in the very center line. Um, stick to stuff that the, I can't believe I said that, that the vertices will stick to that center line. Um, at least on the X axis, on the mirrored axis. So, you know, we're mirroring on the X. So if we try and pull it apart, you know, those stay in the middle, these middle vertices this way. There's going to be times where you want it off, like if you need to make corrections in here and add a new face or something, but it's generally good to have it on. Um, like if you extrude and try to go over like that, um, it'll stick there. There's times where you might make something over here 
Um, so just be careful. It'll get like stuck on the side. It's weird. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's not too important right now. You can turn it on and off if you need to. Um, don't hit X. That'll. I mean, it's a modifier, so you're not losing data. All you're losing is the stuff that you set in here. So if there's some other like more complex modifiers. If you hit X, you're going to have to re-input that stuff, but you're not losing anything that you made. This is just modified, modifying stuff that you've already made. Um, maybe that was a little bit too much for something um, that, you know, is probably pretty straightforward. It's just, um, whoops. It's just mirroring it. <laughs> so, uh, there's like a standard mesh creation I do for heads. Um, I might not do it this time. I'm trying to think. It's a little complicated and she's not, I mean, 2019, so things can stay pretty high poly and, you know, it, it ends up showing. I can play like Mario 3D World or whatever. I don't mention Mario Odyssey because I don't think it's that good. Sit there. Talking a lot. Talking a lot of work lately, too. I'm just like, ugh. Broke gets used up. Oops. Keep this one open just in case. So I'm just debating now. I thought I'd have a better plan here, but maybe I should do the way that I normally do it. I'm going to forget some cuts. <laughs> I hope there's nothing loot in here. <laughs> Big folder. Make it small just in case. Don't look. That one. Here. I can't remember the person's name at the moment. Um, turn that music off. So. You basically start with a sphere and why it won't scroll while we're going. Okay, so we'll just pause. Start with the sphere and you actually get rid of one of these loops first, I believe. We'll see. Wash those in, pull this down, and you already have a great base shape. It's weird, but the front of the human face is really flat. It's, um, you know, other sort of like bumps and cheeks and things like that that give you more character. And there's going to be exceptions, you know, where people have chins or foreheads that go front or back. And maybe some people have more roundness to it. But it's actually really straight up and down. That's kind of how you want to start. Jaw down. So these are the cuts I was talking about that get a little weird that I just kind of forget how you're supposed to do them. It's really weird. And I don't know, maybe there's like more modern like ways to do this. Um, but once you set all those cuts, you just like push and pull. And while this is a naturalistic face, um, you can do really stylized faces. Um, it, that's why it's so nice in my opinion. I actually thought about doing a tutorial. I just feel like I'm not quite good enough at modeling faces yet to do a tutorial on it. Um, we're doing a character, so there's a difference. Um, the There's these key points that you get from all these cuts, especially when you get the eyes going, that you can align it to any character, in my opinion. You know, I tried, I did it like for Naruto, and I tried to do some other different styles and naturalistic characters. And it was just really cool because you just sort of line it all up to any sort of sketch that you got going. Um, and you get this sort of natural, quote unquote, anatomy, you know, believable anatomy for any kind of style that you want. Um, you know, we're already here. Let's just go ahead and do it. We might be going back and forth here a bit, so that might be annoying. Oh, forgive me. Oh, you can see how it, it deletes it right there. on YouTube, maybe it'd be better to show it on YouTube. So, oh, did you see it disappear? So how many rings is that? Four. Well, 
twelve, I believe so. Six and six, and then two, three, four, eight, six by eight. Is that what we're looking at? So instead, let's go ahead and delete this cube. Excuse me. Delete vertices. Shift add. UV sphere. So that's what we want. Looking at, I think that's about right. So six by eight. Go ahead and rotate it. I'm going to turn off our modifier. So we just do the eyeball that way. We don't have to pop it back in there. Because some of the stuff is going to be easier doing it this way first. <coughs> this seems a little small. Um, by 10, maybe? I think I've actually done a video by this. Eight by eight. Seems like too many. Sorry. Seven. That seems wrong. Exactly what we want. Seven, huh? <laughs> That's definitely wrong. Maybe it is just six by six. I'm sorry. Compare, why not? One, two, and then three. Two. But that means we're already there. That's not right. Dudes, I'm sorry. It must be eight. Like... One, two, and then delete that one. Okay, I just got a little confused. <laughs> so, what did we do? It was like an eight by eight, I believe. Like that. So that's wrong. By I even said 12 when I first did it, when I was talking about doing it. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm an artist. So now we have a good spot. So we added that, rotate around. So shift add UV sphere, shift A. If I ever say like a command and I say a word and not a letter, it's usually just that letter. And again, we can look down here to see what we need, um, the notations. So 12 and 8, go ahead and leave that, hit enter. You don't have to hit enter. If you don't make any changes, then it just leaves it. Then we hit R to rotate, go around like that, first select, Alt, right click. Gives us edge loop selection. You X to delete edge loop. Get rid of that edge loop. And SX to scale them together. Already looking like a character. This is just, it's a really cool way to start. Let's see how I'm feeling compared to this. We bring that down and we bring those pretty straight down. I think at this point we can do the mirror modifier. So we're going to go ahead and hit Z so it's opaque, or excuse me, transparent. So that way we can select stuff that's behind. Hit X, delete those vertices, turn our mirror modifier back on. A, make sure the clipping's working okay, looking good. A is select all. You're going to hit A a lot. It's like the most common key when you're doing Blender. Kind up here. Actually move her to the side. A little more lined up and we'll line up with the side of the face it's not it's a tiny bit um not straight on but we'll go ahead and just do that it doesn't have to be perfect you know we're going to be fleshing this out um, what we're going to do is we're going to select this or it might be a little bit advanced shift a excuse me shift s cursor to selected so i grabbed this vert that was right at the bottom and in the middle the reason for that is because i'm going to go here, instead of median point, what median point does is it does any scaling 
and actually transforming other stuff based on where they are like together. So it takes a median point based on what you have selected. So if we just grabbed this and did scaling, you know, it's really dynamic. And so that can be helpful. But sometimes you need sort of consistency, like a ruler. That's why you want, um, you know, a 3D cursor pivot point over down here. So now when we scale out, it's going to go, you know, like that based on that point, which is a lot more helpful for us. We're going to do our extents. Her head's probably about right here. Now she's a pretty cutesy character despite all the tough talk I talked about. Lights here, pull these down. We want basically this one's so this is gonna be the chin. This is why I find this like so helpful. Is like grab here. This is gonna be our chin. And then this part here. And here's a point where it's like we might want it. And having that side view one's gonna be a lot more helpful. Pull it out to sort of chin range. And then we're gonna grab these ones and pull them out front. And already, you know, it's like that's a character. Like I you know, honestly, we could just start here. It's a cool enough head. Um, actually save this the desktop for now I meant to do it so, I mean I have a tutorial folder I just do not know where it is to character model desktop for now excuse me enter have that going on let's check this sound they pull that chin down or excuse me that jaw down I believe so it's that front one back here. So what I mean by front is like this is the halfway point. So this is the front half and this is the back half. That first vert down from, I guess to put it more simply, it's just the straight down one. <laughs> so this one, which is a little surprising. But when you start pulling it down, more sense, that even right? With me. What am I missing here? It was a little wrong. Go back. We're all learning together. Come on. Don't be like that. I think they added a cut. Or, excuse me. Uh, just have these joined. So click those and join those. That doesn't seem right either. Have these joined? Going on. Join those. Um, I don't necessarily have to have those joined, but that's kind of like what they have going on, right? I have the wrong thing. <laughs> oh my god. So you can see if we look at this front view. And actually pull it to the side and I grabbed the wrong vert so just leave me alone they really pulled that down but I don't know and they do some fleshing out of course so. but that's basically the jaw the mandible or whatever you want to call it. So put our character and kind of match it up with that it's not getting some weird shit going on over here. So we're a little big in general. We'll go ahead and just scale it back down a little bit. We're gonna be going back and forth. There's a way I thought that when we're like this, it can still show up. Let's see. Put it in the front. It can be a little bit hard. You might find that easy, um, but. Oh, not loving it. Back. I think you can make it so it. Uh... This is all views, but you're a liar. I think it means just these preset views. Oh, I'm in the numpad to do those. Let's get back to it. So we're an anime character, so we have a tiny chin. Bring that in like this. 
Same here. Peace out. Let's go a little bit weird. Not going quite as smoothly as I'd hoped. <laughs> I want to bring this in, but we might need some loops first. Loop here. What I should do, sorry. Follow along as best we can for the most part, and then we'll just flesh it out. Dropped it out. I think we're going to add another loop here. It'll make more sense. I don't know why ours seems so different here. Like this always happens when I use this tutorial. I mean, it is helpful, but it did bring their head down a lot more. Um, this is your eyebrow. Saying your head generally, good rule of thumb, is your eyebrow. People, you may have learned that it's like your eyes. It's a little bit better to think about it as your eyebrows. And so, we're, you know, she has these big stylized eyebrows, so it's, we're kind of in the middle. It might be a little bit higher, honestly. Um, I wanted to grab those, but for now it's not too important. Um, and then her chin here, so that's good. I was just making sure that was lined up okay. Part of it's because they pulled their face way down, um, but our style's a little bit different. We're gonna start doing these cuts. It's really kind of weird at first. <laughs> so we're kind of just gonna follow along. It doesn't have to be perfect. You hit K to do knife cut. Click, hit enter. Got to cut there. And we do here all the way up to the eyebrow, I believe. With the nose again, this is going to be really thin on our character. And you could get away with um, maybe just having like a sphere like this and texture it. But it's going to give us a little bit of next level looking cool stuff. It's going to be better than that. I want to be, I want to be next level. So, and then we have one in the middle here. Oop. Click, so that one actually went all the way across, and so did that one. So kind of like the center of the eye, and we'll line them up here before we do our... Um, you know, shaping. Went all the way over there. I always forget that part. I haven't done a face in a while. So that. Look, they deleted one. I had this step by step somewhere, and I don't know where I put it. Cross. Lip shape, so boop, boop. Oops. I hit L, not K. There, here, there. Stop. Good. Was there something deleted there? <laughs> This is where they start to get really weird, but it's in a good way. Like you can see, like this is sort of the, you know, this is the inside of the eye. Maybe that part's not obvious. And then we have the end of the nose here, so we're gonna do the underside of the nose here. Excuse me. Right issue based on look what direction you go. So yeah, that's not actually the lips, it's like the, this is the chin, this is kind of like the top of the chin, like right below your bottom lip. See the actual lips there, that one is lips. <laughs> we do, have the lip here, we here, you actually cut in between, 
for us. Again, our shape's a lot different um, because of our proportions. And then we start pulling them out. Pointy, pull the septum out, pull the chin back, be here. So, and you may notice that they added the eyes too. We're gonna go ahead and just do this first. I don't wanna spend too much time on this part. Um, I wanna get to the animation. So go ahead and line up our, our parts. Um, because our character doesn't look like this. <laughs> and hard to see, we're gonna grab all these. Might have been suited to lining up some of this stuff, but we should be okay if we lining up some of this stuff before we did some of those cuts, but we should be all right. Chin, let's go pull this all the way down. It's there. Little anime mouth. The animation. Do our nose. We have an even tinier anime nose. <laughs> yes, that tiny. Push that out. Let's go ahead and do that. Nose. Pull that in much. They do it again real quick. Pull the eyes back, push the nose forward, pinch the nose, we'll set them out, pull the chin back. Oops, I didn't have that grabbed, so. This again is gonna be a style thing. It's just whatever. It's you. Your style. Maybe kind of whack at first. They pulled their mouth in a bunch too. We need to do. And we can correct that. Let's say, like, we go down the line and, you know, maybe this looks cute right now, but we want her to be able to have, like, an expressive mouth or something. Um, let me go ahead and change that. Top of the lip is actually up here. Kind of whack myself up too much. <clears throat> Let's see, it's fall. Can we pull that down. You want to give us a new cut? Pull that down. So that's kind of the shape we want. And if you look at like anatomy stuff, you can kind of see. You know, some stuff that might not seem obvious, like. Like these big planes right here. Um, we want that to match our character. So, again, that is the inside of the eye. So let's match that up. That'll help us get a better idea of what we're doing. Um, and this is where it can get kind of weird with like depending on your style and stuff. So we might want this big drop like this. So we still want this like eyebrow up here at our eyebrow. Just generally around here. I mean, you know, our eyebrows go up like this, but it's gonna be around here, so we're gonna have to find a good little point. Now we're doing something like that. Looking pretty whack still. I don't know if we should pull that out or not.
Again, we just have this tiny dot for a nose, but so they're shaping up. That's what I was waiting for. Really, this might be a little bit too much for. character we're making. I just want that general sort of anime look. Which we don't have yet. <laughs> Is that extra cut yet? No, there's one in here. He's, uh... I know we want something else. Don't know if like the problem is that it needs to be lower maybe or pretty whack. I thought this would go more smoothly. But it wouldn't be a culture tag stream if we didn't have like some horrible FFs. <laughs> Alright, so let's do these cuts real quick. I'm just trying to find like a decent stopping point. For the head, you know, we still need them all the body. Oh, get a knife cut. Do knife cuts so like willy nilly like this is normally bad, but when you're doing this sort of like intro part, it's okay. You kinda wanna like stick to loop cuts and things like that. Those part can actually get tricky. Those by first. Down to the lips. Mouth going a lot more. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> That's too many cuts. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like last time I did this, it went way better. Did I delete something? Did they delete something? up here we have like an extra in there feels so dumb like I don't understand and into the nose and then they go over the top That's my problem. I'm starting to cut from the wrong spot. Get fast. Please. Back to the there. Line from that cheekbone down to the jaw. We probably do join. Well, let's just do. 
that. So you have a lot more geometry to work with. Cut across and make these into quads. Something else I'd say. I think we have enough geometry with this one. This part gets a little more complicated with the eye and stuff, but yeah. So we have basically what we need. We just need to make it work. Except for when we get to the eye, we're gonna want more. One more in here. Pretty chubby in a fun way, I think. Keep going back and forth on this. Line it up with our actual drawing here. We're pulling these shapes in. We'll smooth it out better. Okay. No shape there. No shape. Really important. It's looking pretty gross. <laughs> Bad. Um, really thought it goes nowhere. I thought about just going to a marketplace and finding like a free anime one. Maybe we should have. I'm sorry, I thought this would go better. I might take a break and just not take a break, but uh just sort of restart. <laughs> you know, modeling at this high poly till you get better is um you know, this is kind of the this is what it looks like. Do my best to line it up with our drawing here. Oh, it is looking better. A bit more shape in here. I know there's a better way to do it though. I just I think we could have done better shaping in the beginning. We'd be correcting so much. I just don't want it to be awful. <laughs> it's all just trying to find a stopping point for us. It's getting better. It's just. I'm gonna get some good shaders going. That. I know I missed steps here, but I should. 
I'll post a link to that video. This is just a local copy. I have what it is on YouTube. Um, you follow along. And I have done videos in the past with it. Just thought, like, with my last, like, modeling video, like, it, like, kicked ass. <laughs> I felt confident in what I could do. But yeah, and honestly, like with certain models and characters, like you're going to be messing with the model and the um, texture as the like game progresses as you develop it. Not to simply excuse myself already, but. One of the times you might see. Which. Again, you might think this is just like way off style. Um, you can actually. I mentioned this already, but. Using these methods, you can really make any style work. You just work at it. Bad stuff there. It's not too bad. It lacks a lot of character we might want. And we're not. Oh, it's like, well, that second loop is the outside of the eye, so that was kind of a mistake on my part here. We want to make sure we're hitting the edge of our eye here. So this part right here, it is important that like that is like the inner corner, like where your tear duct is. This and this I go back and forth on. Huh? I'm gonna make sure this whole loop here is like pretty rounded. Like this top part. Here. I make like the loop. So anyway, skip ahead to this part. <laughs> and if you're watching, it's not so bad. Um, I just always feel weird. And that's why I didn't want to do like the tutorial in the beginning um, where I was just doing the sketches, or excuse me, the, um, the sketching in the beginning. It felt a little, or there's just dead air and I just feel like I don't know what to say. And I just feel, really feel like the parts where I'm like struggling. Um, let's. Watch real quick. So you do a cut for the eyes. First. A nice way to do that. That way we can be that for. You do that. If we really need that for now. I could see going back. Let's just let's let's move on. So go ahead and click right here where the neck will be. Shift add. And let's do a cube for now. Um actually I'm not gonna go to the neck. We're gonna go to the, the torso. Right click this one. X faces, delete the faces. L to link select. So any you know vertices that are all touching each other will be selected. Grab, drag it down. So we're going to do her torso first. So if this is the middle here, which it isn't, <laughs> where did I add that cube? It doesn't matter too much, but I was just like, yeah. I'm just thinking about how to approach it. 
another loop. Keep looking at the head, which I shouldn't. Go back easily. Honestly, it's not looking so bad now. Pull out of this front. God. <laughs> Back to this. So we're gonna do what's called like box modeling. It's a little dated technique, but um, nowadays people kind of, I don't wanna say anything's like really obsolete ever, but uh, I don't know, it just like is kind of. <laughs> um, so we just gotta try and think of like a reference point here. So we're, we're making like a vest. That's a good way to think of it, like a life vest. Um, and then from there, you know, we model things out a little more, particularly. Um, so we're gonna do Control R, do loop there. Control R, do loop there. Um, so firstly, you know, we want to think about our extents. So let's do like the top of the neck, V Z to grab. You can just grab and you can use the, um, when you have cursors, you know, pivot, um, your gizmo is down here. So that can be kind of annoying if you like using the gizmo. So if you want medium point instead, you know, we could have been right here and we could have just grabbed these like that. Pull these up or down or whatever. But I do like using the 3D cursor. So that, in that case, like I do G um, to grab and like that will be a little bit difficult um, getting her torso kind of, you know, doing doing the side of the anatomy, the side of the human body is a little bit hard for me. Side view, something I'm still getting better at. Let's put it that way. Go ahead and grab all those. Do extrude. Go all the way down here. Leg is um, trying to think. So at this point, we just kind of and there's lots of ways you can go about this. Um, did all right click, kill X. But I think it's wise to just hit these big shapes first. So on the inside of the crotch, you kind of want it just pretty thin right here. We're going to pull this out where the hips are, like this. And there's a lot of, like, I don't know. I want to say there's just, like, a lot of different ways you can be doing this. Our goal is to sort of get some loops here that are, like, either six or eight um, vertices in circumference. And then like we model it after that. So if we just did a loop here, we already have six verts that we could be doing. Go like this, and it's gonna look kind of whack. We just extrude them out. You can see it's kind of like, we have a lot of character already. <laughs> it's like, you know, she's pretty wide right here, but. So that's sort of our goal. We want to shape this out a little bit better. Um, that way, that's what's kind of cool about modeling. Like you'll find that like, let's say you start going and you do the shoulders and you make the shoulders like look pretty accurate, right? And then you just do like in a simple extrusion and you're like, holy shit, like that's just like the arm already. Like it's all modeled out nicely just cause of how stuff works. Like and just how it all joins together. Go ahead and scale this Y. So do S Y, and we're looking for the same thing here on the on the hips. Pull that down. We don't want to forget about our big muscles, but we'll we'll get to that. Don't worry. And we can actually pull this down quite a bit like this. a bit um use here uh, 
trying to think. There's this other tutorial, but I just don't, don't want to keep like busting out tutorials. <laughs> like, really working so hot. I'm just giving this some shape. Pull this in now, it's like more rounded around the side here. Oh, and I'm right clicking to just to grab a vert quickly. The anatomy kind of. Well, I guess not everybody, but you know, their shoulders a little bit thinner. But we are going to make muscles in the shoulder big. To, you know, I thought that was cool. I thought that was cool, and that's what we're doing. Pull this up. Um, we should be looking at reference. <laughs> Um, again, we would have a go ahead. better um, reference sheet to work from. This in. Shape better. Should have done that before that loop cut. No, I'm going to want that loop there first. Kind of our six points for the leg. And, and why I mean that is because maybe it wasn't clear. Um, that we're making like loops to... Extrude the arms and legs out of. Weird. Points here. Still got some nice shape going in there. That's good. Six. Why you're right though, we're gonna want well, this front part's looking cool. Um in that. Now I'm thinking a little bit more about her style in general. And these are sort of rough shapes. We're gonna like flesh it out. It's like, you know, her body's not necessarily looking like that. Um, get into that. Scene where quick. Like that. That's where I feel like it might be kind of weird. Anyway, so we grabbed those top parts right here and we extruded them out. And it's like to do that shoulder. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna bulk it up like we talked about. You can see these are kind of dark. Um, they just need to get flipped. If this was missing here, might not have run into that problem. And we are gonna cut these out. So grab those X faces. Edge select, doesn't really matter, we just need to grab these two edges. Rude. Rotate them down. So we have that, which is nice, and then we can see maybe some other problems with it. It's kind of hard, because you want her to be tough, so maybe pull her traps up. Big trap. Easiest. Not looking too bad. I'm better about that than the face. And, and it looks pretty gross right now. Like when you're modeling characters, it's like there's gonna be a lot of times where, at least until you get better, 
it's just you're not gonna be happy with stuff. Here we can. Okay, good. Yeah, I was like, whack. Yeah. All those were lined up along that axis. There's some like preliminary steps I could have taken to make this more rounded in the beginning. Would have been better, but. We're doing okay. All right. Soften these edges. So right now it's like I'm looking at like where maybe it's like a little bit too sharp of an angle. So I'm going to add geometry or like reduce that sort of stress. You can see here this one's kind of stretched out. That was my voice. Yeah, I'm gonna talk a lot of work, talk a lot in the streams. <clears throat> These. Oh, and don't fret. Um, this will be provided. Um, maybe you know if you're watching this on YouTube, you know that already because it'll be, it'll be there. Um, but one of our missions at Culture Attack is to free knowledge, free assets. Um, but please buy my games. <laughs> we all hate capitalism here, but at the moment, <clears throat> while we have to live in it, fortunately. deal with it so what's cool is like when you do that I'm always like confuse myself a little bit or a little wary that you know we make this shoulder shape and it's like well I'm getting you know I'm cutting down in here I'm gonna lose my loop but I don't still have six verts which is great yeah I'm excited about this character honestly <laughs> like I think she's really cool so I'm getting a little impatient so I just want to extrude it out just to look just to see what we might want to do up here more probably pull the shoulders back like just in general this might be wrong but I feel like it's right <laughs> little Honestly, like you can match it to to anatomy, where you know maybe we have the musculature here, um, female anatomy looking more like this, just how their ribs join and things um, with their obliques. Um, but just getting a silhouette with smooth faces all around can kind of work better when you're doing like low poly. Um, so don't fret about it too much. There's some certain considerations you want to make when modeling it. Um, what am I getting at here? You, you know, you've all, you're all familiar with the T-pose, I'm sure. And the reason for that is just when you're rigging it, you know, you're, you're making a doll at this point. So don't focus too much on, like, getting things stylized in a certain way. Let your rigging and your animation, like, bring that sort of gestural style. Um, you know, maybe that's obvious, but I can get kind of caught up in that. And, you know, it can be, it's wrong. <laughs> and pull this down. This up a little bit before we start extruding. And pull these shoulders in. That way. I don't know that like. That way she still has like the big muscular shoulders, but the shoulders themselves. Oh yeah, that's looking cool. Hell yeah. All right. bit pull this back in I think this might be undoing what I just did that's a little weird 
kind of going back and forth on that. Let's look at our model a little bit more, or our sketch. So we, I want a little bit more geometry down in here where we grab those legs. I'm trying to think what would work best for us. You know, and I have this going in. That's just a, a female trait with the hips turned forward. This back in, that's good, okay. I think, I don't know. I kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I feel like I do that a lot where I, I really want to like pull that forward. But like if you look at your own chest, like, and we're kind of like for her breasts, it's like we're not necessarily have modeled it in yet. But whether you're doing boy or girl, like I always have this tendency to like want to pull back on this part here. But really, you're kind of more shaped like this. I'm going to try and stick to that because it's something I always push for and I'm like, oh, it looks cool because it's like, I don't know, emphasize the muscles, but it's like wrong. It's not. And really, in art, there's no really like saying wrong is a strong word, but. I mean, it's kind of wrong. <laughs> so we're seeing about the butt and the crotch. some geometry so control r for a loop cut yeah looking much better there something here pull that out that way we can give this much better shape and you're gonna want to just mess for a bit like i mean, don't know quite know what i'm doing <laughs> in general um we do want like while this looks kind of nice like I mentioned with the silhouette, where you kind of just want smooth edges and things all around. Well, weird, it wasn't full on. You definitely want that at your extrusion points. Like we're gonna smooth this out a bit, and that's what I'm trying to search for here. This leg is that I I want at the very least something smooth. You know, right now this is not a smooth. smooth ring right it's all this is a straight line it's like what's this verse not even doing anything for us um anyway go ahead and pull that down looking a lot better now that i took those out i always feel weird about like doing that too early for some reason like cutting it out but it's actually really helpful so <laughs> glad i did that we're not even going to see this geometry so don't Get too caught up on it you want to get the most out of your verts and that's another reason why you kind of alleviate any stretching so like this is doing a lot more work out here than it was back here you know what i mean especially because we're not going to be seeing it that much like we're going to want it for you know animation purposes back up And I'm lining it up with our sketch here. And it's like, kind of line this up this way real well. When you go to extrude, it's like, you, it's like it models the leg for you. It's like, I didn't even try. Face man, it could have been better. Just out of practice. Body's looking all right though. It's gonna be cool when we rig it. Start to punch and kicking and sorting and shooting, jumping. Looking okay. I want another loop in here. Maybe I can. A bit and go more like this. Not quite right. Really, we want this. We want it here. I mean, the butt goes way out here, but really, the. Hard to explain, but 
maybe it's obvious, but like just sort of like the main gesture of the leg is, you know, we want coming from here. So if we alt right click, six verts selected, we might want eight. The more verts, like modeling low poly is really nice. <laughs> um, just maybe we would want eight. So we need a whole new loop here. But I'm feeling like we need one. This always happens when I'm doing certain designs where it's like I really want more geometry back here. But I don't really need it up here. Let's say we do that. Because so now we have eight edges. I just feel like her pants are going to have a lot of character. And I'm going to want that geometry. I just, I, I'm feeling it. I don't know if it's for sure, but. Alt, right click, space. If you don't know something in Blender, but you know what it's called, then you hit space bar and spell it out. And we want an edge slide. That's going to let us just slide it along here. If we do that instead of like, you know, pushing it like that, that's not what we want. We want that edge slide so it goes along the edge that we already made. I have a lot of verts though. See, I mean, we did a whole loop cut like all the way through. Kind of like where those issues. We just edge slide. Basing out our geometry vertices so we can maximize their use. Let's grab these ones and edge slide just there. And there is a smooth you can use. Speaking of which. Again, you want kind of to center up everything. You know, if there's a reason where you really needed this down here, like maybe you wanted this part to be longer on the short here, but like a bit of a, a, a waste of geometry. Now we have these. We're going to just scale it out along the y-axis just a little bit. that way like from this angle it's more around more rounded I feel like it's just gonna end up being like too much geometry <laughs> happens a lot we'll just see where it takes us we'll do alt right click do rude and again we're not doing a body we're doing pants and we're doing overalls I have to keep that in mind. I want it to match our sketch as best we can. I want to keep that style going. Um, this extra loop in here is actually really nice. It's going to be good for animating and things. So this is actually looking pretty cool. I almost feel like if we were doing low poly, delete these edge loops. That's a little whack. I mean, honestly, maybe just doing this would be better. That honestly looks better. But again, I, it's like I always want extra geometry back here. So. Is let me see that this big booty doing anyone any favors. It's not the style we want. The big booty the next as much as the next person, but let's go ahead and edge slide this out. Again, this is kind of why I wanted to get this done last week. I don't want too much of a break in between the two, like actual sort of uh, framework Im implementation. I can't the word here. For making a character action game. I don't know what we're doing. So you can see this is like tons of geometry on the top and not much on the bottom. Um, another option we could have done is like if we get rid of this loop, I know we just made it. Like to put it here and then we slide everything over and then that way we have eight for our arm i just don't think we need eight verts for our arm at least for the you know the type of games we're making now um, and now that i get rid of that other loop i'm going to go ahead and do that so what i did i know we made that extra one. Oh, the main reason we have it 
It's because we want more geometry in our leg, which I feel like is something we want still, but it's like, do we really? You know what? I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going back on it. So you're going to delete this. Excuse me. X vertices. Make sure this is better rounded because I was just checking it out and it just wasn't very round. Yeah, I got it. I should think in terms of the tutorial. You know what I mean? Um, this isn't a, a modeling tutorial necessarily. This is about giving us a cool character to work with. Still not quite sure how that'll look. Pull that out. I do think that looks better. Um, so now we'll actually do the smooth option. So you type in smooth. Hit space and it'll do the last one you did which is really nice so if you just hit space and hit enter it's the last thing you did so it's going to give us like it's gonna smooth that out basically um we're not looking for that pointy dainty look we like these cool big baggy pants so selected scale it out so now it's like you can go about it two ways sometimes i feel like it's easier if we do the whole extents in this fashion and then go in and add more verts it just it kind of depends like just how you like to work um a lot of times i like to just go along as i go so at this point i'm actually going to go back to medium point that way i can just sort of scale easily without messing with my um 3d cursor too much and we hit e to extrude Let's Scale it out. We have that little wrinkle there. Just wanted to emphasize that. Scale it out. Yeah. Or extrude it out, excuse me. Extrude. Looks a little bit too much. I think that's just something we could texture in. So again, we're going back and forth a lot. Um, this. That's weird. Oops. Gonna delete it. Any better? What I did was delete it and then put it back in. I just don't think it's in there. Like a waste. wrong about the anatomy a little better just a little bit this one too yeah you can do a vert slide but it's going to be easier if I just go back and I like that. That's a little bit better. It may not have the same sort of style as the other one had, but I know I say again too much. We're getting another one. Again, it's like getting sort of a smoothness that you can texture around um, is going to be a lot more useful for you. I think I'm going to go down to the cuffs probably. We're going to go straight down like that and we'll clean up this and we're going to add more loops for um uh for our animations for a rig that way there's more i'm trying to say here so the joints bend nicely and stuff deform nicely this a bit i didn't like it That's where the next going to be.
I've been just kind of silently thinking here, just trying to like guess where the knees would be. Yeah, so like a model sheet would be better. I think probably about right here. This is probably her kneecap right here. Pretty gestural. What I'm going to do, and we're going to kind of, you know, we're modeling her in pants, so it's not going to be quite as what you'd normally do. Good starting point. There's going to be way better, like... There's a lot of standard ways to model stuff. Again, this is more of a <laughs> not a modeling tutorial, but a character action tutorial. So we're gonna do some geometry there. Go ahead and hit E again. Scale it out. I'm gonna do those cuffs because they're cool. Out down here. Turn. Nail. Point there. Around just a little bit, the rotate. Got kind of skinny in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down. Kind of looking like Sora, honestly. Bring these down here. We're not gonna quite continue from this point, but I'm just sort of putting stuff where I might want it. Sort of get started. We're going to be moving stuff around. See, this is a little. Oh, that out a bit. That looks better. Cool. A little funky there. Just looking a little weak from. A character design standpoint. We'll go ahead and leave that in. Let's get her. Might be able to hide the knee a bit in here. <clears throat> well, probably not. We're probably going to want to add the... Take it back. Put that back in there. I'm trying to think. Look up some hiking boots. Kind of the look. A little bit different. Just have leather boots. Work boots. Kind of what I had in mind. We'll go with that. We're not gonna model exactly. We're gonna, you know, get still. This will give us a nice. Reference to work with. What to do? Where are we at? Two hours. Cool. Let's see how to start that. Let's do our extents. Um, I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna do Shift D and scale it out. So it's gonna duplicate. I kind of want it. Not connected yet. I kind of want to just mess around a bit. It loops down like that. Comes around. 
Those are going to be a bit different. Get it. I'm doing the side view first because um, I like how this one looks here. Right up with the drawing. I don't mind sort of going a little bit extra <laughs> with the polys here because it looks cool. <laughs> Was a little bit more serious i probably would model this on axis um we get kind of a weird shape who knows maybe it'll be ba in the end like that excuse me Extrude from here. Thought maybe I can just do this then. I don't love any of this. This. Right. It's a little bit. There we go. That out. Better. And a mess. <clears throat> yeah, let's just close it up. Kinda don't keep going with it yet. Those and scale Z to kind of flatten it. Oh. And there's this little loop here that I forgot about. <laughs> Grab Potato, pull them up a bit. Root <clears throat> again. 
And we're here. This off. Clicked all these. Hit F for face or fill. I don't know what the actual terminology is, but that's how I think of it. So much better ways to model shoes in general, but this is what we're doing. So we have that middle point in there. I don't know if you can see it very well. We're gonna extrude it. It's because it's missing on the other side. We just extruded a single vert. That way we can go boop, boop, fill, boop, boop, fill. And we can do fill, W, subdivide, grab that new point, pull it out a bit. Now we have this face. And like we mentioned before, we keep coming back to these boots, kind of a key part of her design. So that's why we're taking like a little extra time on it. And sometimes you're just feeling it and you want certain parts to look really cool. Okay, like that. They're, they're not looking great, but they're not looking horrible. You still want to try and like there we go here. Alt S to scale up. I did nothing. It was almost there. I want that sort of, you know, that look of the boot where it really pops up like that. It's sort of cartoony. Very cartoony, honestly. Getting messages from my phone. I thought I turned it down. <laughs> water here another sketch oh yeah that went way down I don't know oh I have two little attempts here I'm not sure which one I like more shape of the boot and if we liked we could go a little bit more nuts with like modeling out the tongue and the things Even that, just by itself, is looking okay. It'd be nicer with more verts, but... Already, that's not too shabby. That for now. I have to close this back up. I'm trying to think of the best way to do it. Divide it. I just don't know. There's like a way. I don't know. Maybe we just do this. Screw down. Down. Screw down. Again, that's E. Extrude. Edge select gets faster. Do right click and then hold shift, right click to continuous, you know, increase your selection rather than do a new selection. So if I just right clicked, that one shift, it's a new selection each time. Not looking too shabby. That's pretty cartoony. It was kind of like what we wanted, right? It's not bad. It's not bad. We're going to want some cool bend and stuff. She's going to have these big floppy feet. Let's give her a little bit more geometry. So. And okay. Let's slide this up. That back. <laughs> um. That. 
Hop still looks pretty shit. Language. Try not to swear so swear swear so much in the videos at least. And all right, it's not too bad. I don't want that to poke up, but I just feel like it needs more geometry to really do good work. I have a loop there. I don't really need it, but I don't know. So. L, we're gonna go top view, rotate it around, side view, here, grab it back around here. Loving the look overall, kind of disappointed. <laughs> but it's gonna be good once we're all set. Line it up with the legs. Just thinking a bit still. Oh, it's kind of better to have it kind of flat. Go ahead and join these. Unfortunately. <laughs> there are six edges of the Shoe are oriented so there's an edge straight in front, but in here there's a face straight in front. So there's going to be a bit of a rotation here. Um, it's not a huge deal, but uh, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm you just pull everything up a bit. No, then it won't be lined up to the thing. Never mind. <laughs> Trying to what to do. So yeah, we'll grab this and just pull. See, this is looking cool here. The VBA. Um, I want to make this whole part baggier here. Right up here, so needs a lot of work. But once we get our arms going, it'll be cool. So you just kind of have to make a decision. Um, you could actually rotate this and it look bad. And this part's going to be pretty unnoticeable. She's running around and stuff. Um, I haven't saved in forever. Well, Just making some adjustments. So I guess actually that's where we can make a change. What we're gonna do we're gonna line this up and then rotate it a bit. There's probably some better things we could be doing, but too late. I did it. <laughs> I don't know. That seems so wrong. Trying to line it up with the boot. Quite so much, and then give you a bit of a twist down in here, which we also won't see. These two. Grab this loop and bring it closer to the center. And honestly, I should just pull it up and then push it back down when I'm done. Select, I will reiterate, this is more of a character action tutorial, not a modeling tutorial. So, and then we'll go ahead and grab that loop again. Bring it back. Pretty cool. We don't need this. Yeah, like I look at that other boot and it's like I didn't even know that was gone now. 
That's good. Oh, forgot to fill these bottoms here. You want to stick with quads as much as... Oh, there we go. Like, I couldn't think of it in my head, so... There, there. Face. There, face. One's eight for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> um... Honestly, you can just do this if you're bad. <laughs> but if we want it to be a little bit better... Maybe some redundancy in there. No? Some whack was going on in there. Am I done? Yeah, there's the problem. Could I have done that originally? Anyway. No, I wasn't dumb, but there's a better way. So we're going to go ahead. Whoops. F to fill, W, divide, and then. Boosh. Cool. At least the boots are good. <laughs> I think they did. Push out the character room a little bit more. Turned inward just a little bit, which is that top view. <clears throat> so I could see like how we might undo that and just hide it underneath here. Too shabby, I think. Bring our design like that's are actually a little bit better. Even if they're not, I want them thicker. Let's see. A little bit thicker too. I hate that head still. <laughs> oh yeah, we never did her hair. We might undo all that and just do something really simple. And then... Bloody up there. Somebody up in here. Welcome to the chat room. Who shows people's? I don't know that anyone's in here. Again, I stream on Wednesdays because. <laughs> It's just my day off. Head out. There's more. And, you know, part of me is like, you know, emphasize that hourglass, hourglass look. But part of me is also like, these are some baggy clothes. You know, I want maybe not have that. Off to the side sometimes. Probably. I'll fix it later if it's not. So go ahead and grab that. Out. Smooth. Can't let that out.
And we're just doing some rough. Same thing. Decided to be pretty bulky. There. Thank you. Not an ideal shape that we First, we'll do this. It's not too bad on the upper arm. Like that's kind of how the upper arm is shaped. Pull that in here. Make that a lot more circular. Although even at the end of the arm, you know, it's a, it's a flat look here. Kind of like this. You know what I mean? situation pretty stylized I'm really bad at doing wrists and so it's gonna be nice that we have some gloves <laughs> um, they're just a pain in the panty to model I'm in rig rather like so it animates and doesn't go around a lot of there. Now, it's like how good a hands we want to do. Did some really dope hands on one of the last characters I did. Also done some very bad hands on a lot of other characters. It's a simple. Air on the side is simple because it's kind of like... Out. Fence. Mind here. Just thinking about it. But I was thinking about it. Thanks. Shoulder muscle is this. Again, it's okay because we're going to need geometry in the middle there. Still debating on like the. I can't get this. Um, exactly how to tackle the hands. I guess at first it's okay to just extrude too much and then get rid of any edge loops that we don't need. 
So yeah, we're gonna be keeping it pretty simple. Thought I was gonna model fingers and stuff, but I kind of want to show some implement implementations for having your hands open and close like during your animations and stuff. Remember the thumb starts at the wrist. <laughs> That's why here. Not where the wrist is. Or excuse me, the um, thumb. Kind of what we have. <laughs> You can look at better tutorials on how to do hands. I don't know, should we model the fingers? <laughs> Getting a little sleepy. I was trying to. I don't know. I overdid it. I think doing that. Doing the head so detailed. It was just a bad call. If you're ever doing like rotations and stuff, you can do, um, we extrude it out. You can do R and that's rotate along the axis that you're looking. And then you can do RR, which is roll. And just switching between those two can get you a lot of like what you'll need. Like if you're just doing a quick, um, not even quick, it's like any like rotational no adjustments. So we really needed it. Like, <laughs> it looks okay from some angles. Looks absolutely horrible from others. <laughs> I don't know, I'm tempted to just bust open an old model and steal the hands. <laughs> Ugh, I hate this head so much. Bye bye. <laughs> Where my boys at? I like how these hands turned out. The wood boys in the house. But yeah, I really should have just started like looked that way. <laughs> Oh, we're going to go ahead and copy this. Go to object mode, hit V, paste. 
All right, the armature. Here you. Let's see. Alt P to clear parent. Excuse me. Oh, it went over to the side. Okay. Armature. That's the lesson. Just do it right the first time. <laughs> Almost like. Some sayings that talk about that. So if we look in here, see it's such a nice simple hand. Super low poly, like it looks great in my opinion. There's a triangle there to sort of correct like where the thumb goes. Let's just get So object mode, right click, shift right click, right click, control J, and now we have all those verts over there. Now we can look at these hands. Um, I have them separate, like the fingers and stuff. They don't animate, it was just way easier. The main thing, just this shape here. Like that. Really good. <laughs> Flipped it around so it's on the right side. Right side. So, i are looking at this thing. V to rip. L X delete. So, I start kind of this shape here, right? I like your hand shape. So we will do this, shift S, cursor is selected, shift add, cube. Let's get down to a general shape. So, you know, we look at our hand, imagine it without your fingers, just holding it flat, like it's, and ignore your thumb, like say your thumb got chopped off, like it's this, right? It's like this cube, that's, I did more this way and it's flat we do that if you look down the front of your fingertips toward your hand you know your fingertips are poking at pointing at you we see that it's kind of arched so it like that. See, we have this arch shape, right? Please rotate correctly. Now, do that. Again, this is like really low poly, so go ahead and stick with that. This is just to give it a little bit of extra shape. That... Go ahead and do that. We know, it depends on the person. On me, my middle finger is longer. Um, my ring finger is actually longer than my pointer finger. Maybe that's common. I heard that it's not, but maybe it is. Um, L Z like that. And like I said, not right in the middle, so. Excuse me. You don't want to edge slide? Why not? I don't understand. I did something weird. I don't know what it is. Like it did an extra extrusion or something by accident. I don't know what it is. Anyway, remove the doubles and then did. And back over. And now we have more of this look. And like I said. Actually. This. So to start this. That's not quite right. Do it. Start by scaling here. You know, and it has some thickness. And some of it's going to be inaccurate on purpose because it's low poly. That's just something you're going to have to decide on. 
down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's the other thing. Like, if you look at your pinky, it's a good way to show. If you look from your wrist to your pinky, you know, it goes thick to thin. So we should do that as well. And delete our wood boy. You helped us greatly, my man. Wood boys. And some of the stuff I should have done in the beginning. You know? That way you start with this, like, basic shape. But I wasn't thinking. So this... right here I'm gonna this a bit I'll go. and you kind of have that same thing where it's like you have this pad of your pinky here but actually maybe we should go down more because it gets pretty fat right there there have that arch look in the fingers, so we should bring it down. Oh. A little better, you can see where I made sort of a choice to Here, here, faces, and use that to set up the thumb. Should do it down here too. What did I do? I did something kind of whack, honestly. Yeah, that must have been a optimization where I just I mean it is helpful though I mean I know we're gonna want to join here now let's just go to it excuse me X vertices now we have all that extrude from points through coming out like this get it around smooth the hell out of it And we think about how the shape of the thumb is. It's kind of flat like your hand, right? So. Put it again. Face to fill. Going on, looking at my own thumb, kind of seeing what it's looking like. See how we might want it. Right here. Um, 
cutter. I don't know, I could see how it's redundant way. I wish I hadn't deleted our wood boy because I wanted to look at the fingers. <laughs> I'm going to do shift D. It's pretty identical to that one we just did. R R. We'll be all right. It's much nicer looking hand. Stylize it a bit more. Oh, in my, um, Have it for this. Dude, I hate that head so much. I know I was like struggling and no one was having fun. It's just like, ugh. it'll look good. And like honestly, like the texturing can take it a long way. It's just it's not strong. So that's looking pretty cool. Feeling better now. Correct that a little bit. Mm. Oh, it does. Something you can be bigger. Oh yeah, you look at our sketch. It's like LY here a little bit. Little things together. A lot more polys up in here, but really need it. Not too shabby. I think she's looking pretty cool. What was that? The wood boy, the one on top. Think in there. A little bit too much. Yes, I Mm. 
faire ce stuff. Looking out the fingers. I don't care. <laughs> Trying to attach them, but maybe think geometry pretty girls. Character action characters and pumpkin. Gestural mittens might be better. I might just do that. <laughs> Take an easy way out. Just gonna grab these. Screwed. Rotator Reno. Yeah. Whoops. What the hell that does? Oh, scale. Please. I need a link select. It wasn't like. Yeah, I don't hate that, honestly. We can still do some grabbing animations and stuff. Ugh, I just don't think we're going to get to an animation today. Sorry. <laughs> I know I almost want to maybe not even model it um, on stream. Please. Er, I think your design's cool. Checking everything out. It's a little stiff. You might want to like sort of give it a little bit more shape. Um like uh gesture to the to the whole figure here. But um Some dirty hacks. Set off scale zero. Down a bit, and then this one float in here. It's gonna be floating geometry. The rig's gonna be pretty simple too. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, but you should be able to correct a lot of it with. You know your animation. Um, sometimes you need a little bit. There you go. It's like I go back and forth on like how much. Some geometry down in there. There. There was. I don't think there is. It was weird that I saw some like extra faces down in there. Grab these. Screwed. 
feel. One extra step here. Out. Awesome. I guess move out. And this isn't a thing that happens. <laughs> Human person. doing this where it's like I pull that up but then it, it always needs pulled back down Looking too bad. I'm looking better than I thought in the end. Those hands and feet like really pulled together, give her more of the gesture that we'd wanted. Um, save it. Just trying to think. Should we get to the rig or should we do some hair real quick? <clears throat> Blood boy too. Who doesn't, my man <laughs> or my friend? It's it's so fun to say my man. <laughs> Don't worry, Wood Boy lives on it. Citadel Deep. A lot of them. Looking pretty nice. This is kind of inadvertent. This, again, this is one of those things where it's like you kind of just model things correctly for the most part, and then you start extruding, and just stuff just looks natural. Like it looks good. A little bit. I do want to bulk her up a bit. She Tougher than that. And a little less like lean than this. I think she's a little more husky's not the right word, but she's got some bulk, you know. Look we Just thinking modeling hair and stuff can take forever. If I do like a quick gesture and it looks okay, maybe we'll continue. So if I like Loop there. All these, but not halfway.
Okay. Let's save it. Let's drop it. Oh, I meant to save it. Close Blender. Models. That makes more sense. Thinking ahead enough. Up. And now it's in there. Real character. Go ahead and for a quick look like that sort of neck situation. That's just so cool. <laughs> oh, I'm like, where's my file? Put open. Click, you can double click on things in Unity and it'll open up in my suggested correct. Program. That looks more interesting. Whack from the back. Pitches, my dude. Oh, it's probably a relative or something. Oh, it should be. Maybe it was a relative. Look, so whack. You can see the scales like giant. <laughs> what I find important option that's pretty good is Point right, yeah. I hate a lot about that head. I kind of want to just put a circle in there. I mean, it's it's getting there. It's just it needs so much more work that I don't want to do right now. Go ahead. normals. Uh, we'll do a tune shader too, so 
we're gonna want that anyway for like the outline and stuff. <laughs> Need some problems with her arms I don't like. Or like the gloves go up all the way and it looks black. Oh yeah, that's a little bit of sort Okay. I'll probably finish modeling this at another time. Um, we should really start rigging. I mentioned before about the T pose. Um, you can kind of get away with not doing it. I kind of tend to just leave it down at their sides like this. Um, but it's probably how it calculates like bone heat, which I think is a great name <laughs> word term. You can kind of run into some issues. Go there. Oops. Pull it away from the rest of the model. That. All right, I think. Got some ready closers. That. Pretty whack of a sh Said like a million times, I always want more geometry in the rear here. It just seems like I need it. Hmm, just thinking about we never got to her equipment. Because we're going to want to accommodate that with our rig that we make. I keep saying that. Um, and wax is a strong word, it's just, um, <laughs> these clothes are supposed to be baggy, it's not gonna hug her quite like that in the back. I don't know, this is really not important. Just thinking, hoping to get to some animation today. Yeah, let's do it. Check this. Center, shift add, armature, start with a single bone. Oh, this is the root bone. Root. Logic mode into edit mode. Here, I'm going to go to the armature and turn on x ray so it shows through no matter if we're opaque or transparent. And this top here. I tend to like to have my roots like pointing forward like this. Way to do it, I thought, or you could parent it, like you extrude it 
I'm not sure you see here. Well, maybe this is it. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. No, it's not it's not parented. Um help me. To parent that, um generally your root we have your actual root. You have your hips. It's taking me off. Excuse me. Oh, shift add when it's selected, it just adds automatically. Oh, because we're in bone like we're already in there. <laughs> Sorry. Grab. Put that generally in the hip area. A little bit smaller. It won't matter too much because we're not gonna have stuff um parented from the tip to the tip. It's gonna be parented a little bit. I mentioned sometimes like this. Well they are like this in a female body. Um you don't necessarily have to do that. Thank you. So we have our hips, and then we're going to adjust this a bit. Stomach bone. And then you have your neck bone. And then you have your head bone. The size at the end doesn't matter too much. Unless you're parenting more stuff to it. Uh, for like the end of like a sequence of bone. This. Honestly, it's nice to have more bones. So I'm starting to understand as I get better at rigging. Having more bones through here. But then you just have like a nice rig that controls all the bones with like a single station. And naming them as we went along, but I forgot. Oops. Oh, more. That was not <laughs> capitalized anymore. But I almost wrote heck because I was thinking of neck and head at the same time. Bring this back. You want to. Or to put them in the direction they're going to be turning, bending. Excuse me. So if this is going to be bending, you know, like this, it makes more sense on the legs here. One sec. Go ahead and duplicate this. This at the knee. Here. Some weird rotations. There's so much I still don't understand. Oh. Ugh. Me. Here. Here. So P to parent. Because we want it parented to the hips, but we want it offset. We don't want to do like this sort of, you know what I'm saying? From the side. So here's where it like really matters. That you want this bend here. So when it calculates, um, inverse kinematics, that it knows which direction, um, you technically don't need it that way. Kind of be anywhere, like from a sort of conceptual standpoint, but uh, they kind of need to know which way to bend. And they really need to know, actually. Another one. Doopity bop.
our collarbones. Offset. So that might have been not clear how I did it. It's like you right click the first one and then shift right click. So generally like the last thing that you click on is gonna in your selection is gonna be like what the parent is gonna be. So these are the collars. Collars bones. Gonna line it up. Mostly anatomical, but again it's not quite totally anatomical, but it's pretty close at times. And some some might say that, yes. <laughs> Anatomical, please. Um thinking about how it connects. Up here, it's a little bit lower. So again, it's like it's not gonna be perfect. We're gonna want a little bit of an offset. Oftentimes you'll just see it where you just do this. And it's really not that bad to do that. And like I mentioned, it doesn't have to be the full extent of the thing, you know, it doesn't you don't have to do this unless you have a bone out there that you need. But once it's at this point, it's it's there for you to manipulate. And same thing like the knees, we want to have a little bit of bend there. Um, for ease of things, I'm just going to keep it connected to the clavicle there. I might stop down here. Um, we want a foot. And we want a toe. Where we want the ankle to rotate. Bounces it. I feel it on my foot. It is a little bit lower, isn't it? It's so shitty. I know I've been talking about it like the whole time. It's just. Like, Back and forth on things. Go back to naming. Oh, one thing you can do. Go dot L. Uh -oh. L hand dot L dot exe. Well, that's there's just a a, a trick in Blender. Um, you know, an implementation is not a trick um, that lets you mirror bones and it'll look at dot L and then it'll flip them if it has like a dot L and it'll make a dot R for you. Do that. Neck, chest, stomach, hips, which is only capitalized on for some reason. Root. And so I wanted to do, click on this, little P, keep offset, and parent that. You can do it in here too. You can go to your parents. Whoops, the bone one. The parent is the root, which root? Root's capitalized. I don't know why. <laughs> is that going okay? A little worried about this. In the past, it looked kind of bad when I had that a little too high. Even though it's a little more accurate, if we're not going to have an extra bone in there, it can be. I don't want to say 100%. Can be better to sort of just find the good difference between these two rather than have this like the where like the rib cage ends. Things looking pretty big.
Good, it's forward. Push that just a little bit more just to help with the kinematic. Ah, uh, you can do this. Here. Did it even work? <laughs> or do I not make copies of it? Deal, my dude. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna do it the old fashioned way because I can't think. I think maybe go just armature and mirror. Is that it? There it is. X over we'll control and shift because it looks like we need it a little bit. Line it up. Some inaccuracies here. I always run into this. I don't know. I thought mirroring it was like the right way to do it. I'm gonna try one thing. Because I love Blender, I always seem to run into problems. I guess one of the reasons that we did the mirror is so that it does the Naming for us gives us some a little bit of time. Ooh, this is making me mad all of a sudden. <laughs> We're almost to the fun stuff. I'm sorry, it's taking so long. So if we check out our bones here, whoops, my M, no, this is and IL. Flip names. There it goes. Go dot R. So now it's all dot R. It's looking okay. Adjust this. It's hard to find like where exactly you want. So just probably parent it, see what happens. Um, go to object mode, right click our model, click our armature, go P. And so it's going to be an armature to form, which we want. And we want automatic weights. And then see what it gave us. <laughs> we'll correct it. As we go on. So we're going to go to pose mode while we're in selected the armature. Rotate this. Not too shabby. <laughs> um, it's actually pretty tight. We have that cuff there, it actually hides like some of the there. That's what I'm saying. Like once you get to the, the model, it's pretty fun. Or the um, animation. This out. Kind of lose some geometry up in here. In her rear. We might just want to add some more. like knew that I wanted that separate like through magic. I don't know why that one turned out so good. That's okay. It's not a hundred percent. We would want this to come out way more. Um we might correct that one. But for a first try it's um kind of phenomenal honestly. <laughs> Excuse me? Clear. Is that not an option? Is that an old option? That's like 
Oh, clear pose transforms, jeepers. Go. Save. Sure, our root works okay. This is actually not at a form bone, so we're gonna wanna undo that. Um, it helps in Unity, and it helps with some other stuff. When you can see how like these rolls are like so different, and when we do our inverse kinematics, it can sometimes give us problems. I don't know why it does that. Calculate roll. Uh, global y-axis. Wait, like forward is like forward. Um, Find that one can work pretty good. So it looks like a lot of those rolls got corrected. That generally won't matter with the poses yet until we have like some inverse kinematic stuff going on. That's a little whack. Dude, I'm kind of like surprised how well is it deforming. That isn't ideal. We can sort of change that a bit, but check our body here. I'm gonna go to our armature and do, a... excuse me, stick. It can be easier to see. All right, so I'll parent it. Oh yeah, because that's like our major like root. Over. This is deforming really well. Like I'm a little surprised. It kind of is like vindicating the old shitty head we did, dudes. This is not bad. Like what? <laughs> A little surprising. That face is so bad. <laughs> I hate it. Well, like I mentioned, that's pretty armature symmetrize. Maybe that's a better way to do it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like really surprised. Look at these shoulders. Okay. Yeah. Probably just improve the. Oh, no, that doesn't look too bad. That could be improved. Um, that's just something I'm still trying to learn. How to model this better so it's like immediately. Yeah, we could have pulled those up. Damn it. Doing some dirty. Yeah. Oh shit, I forgot to um, permanentify the uh, the mirror modifier here. Seems to be fine. I can go back into here and Much better, much worse. <laughs> A little weird. I mean, that's kind of how your shoulders are. See, I'm feeling my own here. Flatten out a bit, and that can be kind of hard to get. Perfect. That's probably good enough, eh? I can do it. That. Do a great job with her chest. I totally forgot. Just out a bit. This was a little wide up here. I did want to. Better. That's the the bad thing we're doing is modifying the mesh after we've. Skinned it. So skinning is attaching each one of these vertices to a bone. With a, an amount of heat or... Um, what's the word? Damn it. Emphasis. Um, God, what's the word? <laughs> Just like how much. Can we rotate this? Um, let's do it with the... Uh, like this leg. It's like the leg and the hips control the hip, you know what I'm saying? So the legs down here like controls it a lot, but up here it's just like a little bit that uh, you know it actually looks this. So they kind of share. Influence is the word I was looking for. So. 
Well, since it's not so bad. <laughs> oh, we need to do our IKs. Damn it, this part takes a minute. Get to it. So, go to our bone mode. Do shift D right here just for an easy duplicate. Octahedrons. Grab this. Bring it down. The right one. So, shift D. We call this foot IK. It's not our. It's like our IK handle, but you know it's just easier to type it out. And we don't want a parent for now, so we're just gonna exit out. They're not deforms; these are IKs. So this is gonna be our handle for controlling the foot. So we're gonna want it around in here. Um. So IKs like let you. It's kind of, you'll see. <laughs> if you're familiar with it, you know, then you're familiar with it. But if you're not, it's really cool. You're gonna go to bone, and you actually have to go into pose mode. Then you go to bone constraints. Add a bone constraint. So, the reason it's kind of in pose mode is because it's part of your rig and not your like actual armature and bones. So what that means, like this part is like the tools that you're creating to create your animations. When you actually export it, um, you can export like your IKs and stuff, I believe, but um, for a general purpose, like they're kind of separate because this is more like, it's a rig. It's like sort of a web of like strings and and sort of extra features for animating the bones and those and then those the keys of the bones just get exported for the actual animations so this just makes your life easier the exported data is the same that's a better way to put it generally i mean there's exceptions um but uh this is like creating sort of the robot part of it that lets you do automatic cool things like inverse kinematics um forgot to make an ik target actually we'll go back here go to edit mode I'm gonna grab that IK, do Shift D. It seems weird at first, but you kind of want these out really far. I'm gonna call this one knee.l. Doing lowercase today for some reason. And you want it kind of far out. It's because it, it's targeting it. Lined up with your knee, basically. Our pushed way out, and then parenting. It's like up to you. I do parent mine to my hips, but it depends on like how you like to work. And then like a real nice rig will will like, you know, you can interpolate between being parented or not, and it's really important with holding out objects and stuff. Anyway, need out L. I will go ahead and parent it to my hips. I just find it works easier. And you can actually parent it to your feet. It gets a little weird. Like you'd have you'd want to make a whole rig, like you'd have like a separate object. Because the way your knees point, like it's not a hundred percent, but I don't know. Your knees want to point to where your feet are pointing generally. Like if you're sitting here and you just don't move your knee and you move your foot, like obviously I'm a liar, right? But when you're standing when there's weight there, it's kinda of how your knees like to work. Go back here. Close mode. Okay, our target is going to be armature. So that's like the object. And then the bone is the knee bone we made. It's kind of whack. Wait, that's the pull target. Target bone is not that. It is the... Um, Put IK, and then our full target is the knee armature. Knee, excuse me. And zero chain length is kind of infinite chain length. Um, and then go to. And so if we grab this, start to see what it actually does. 
You can see our pole is a little whack, so we need to rotate around. Pull angle. Probably need 180. See it pointing up a little bit? That's the whole thing with the... um. That could be a pain in the butt. Not quite doing what you want. Generally, if we grab it now, you know, we have this. Really badass. And what I like to do is have it so you can rotate the foot here as well. When you rotate this, we'll put a constraint on the foot to copy the rotation of that. Um, more advanced rigs will have, you know, a network of little things that do stuff like that. And then you create single objects that, like, when you rotate them, you'll get a foot rotation, but maybe, like, a more complex one with, like, a ankle or, like, a toe roll and things like that. Um, it just depends on how complex you want to get it. I don't know why that one was, like, so wrong. That was a little whack. I say wrong, but, like, why is it rolling it up like that? What are you rolling, son? I know why now in my heart. Because <laughs> this was really low. We're going to go back to edit mode. And we're going to grab our... You know, this bone like starts down here. So we want this to actually be up here. And so ideally what you do is you'd extrude it right out of here. It's not a huge deal. I used to like get really caught up in wanting those little things to be perfect, and it really doesn't matter. If it looks good in the end, then that's what's good. Uh, what we had just now is like bad, so you can see. Went away for the most part, but this is a little bit forward. Pull it back. Still getting it a little bit now that it's up too high. There we go. About perfect, which is good enough. Let's save that. Well, if we go in there, looks so nice, dude. 3D is so cool. Like it never gets old. Like every time I like just load this up, it's like what? It's cool. <laughs> Some weirdness I think, because of that, because we didn't go straight down. That's another problem you can run into. Um, we'll try messing with the. Angle a little. I don't want it to go in too much, but maybe better this way. Kind of turning your toes in, but I don't know. As long as in the end, you know, you get it to look okay. Just kind of a problem with our model, honestly. I mean, there's a little, probably some adjustments we could do here. But... Part of it's because we went out so much. I usually don't have an issue with that, but this time I did. I'm going to check. The legs could maybe be a little bit longer. And they look pretty good, honestly. Oops. Lean forward. Knee up. Yeah, they could be a bit longer. Hmm. Not a huge deal, but something to keep in mind. We might correct that in a minute here. She is stylized, it doesn't have to be perfectly, perfectly done. You can see how it kind of just goes in. I mean, that's a cool pose, but it's not exactly what we might want. Just for going straight up. I don't want, well, I guess we can go straight up. Having a weirdness. And like I mentioned, some of that's the model. I 
trying to get some weirdness there. Not ideal. Not too. Correct it a bit. Okay, so we're going to just do the same thing. Edit mode, 50. Or excuse me. Right click, shift right click. Shift Grab X. Skill. I guess we should do armature mirror just in case there's a reason not to. All this stuff again. Flip names. A really weird command. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get a dot L on that one. Not a big deal. Me that arm is correct. And same thing. Armature. The IK dot R. Me dot R. Chain length ninety, it's probably ninety on the cool, pretty cool. That one is the reason that's happening is because of this, not some weird IK thing. Well, it isn't weird IK thing, but it's not because like we did it wrong or something. I mean, this seems fun. No, you know, I could see that thigh being longer. Just a little bit. It's good. I mean, because it's like this design. It's just cool. You know, I've said that a lot, but you should be proud of your art. So now let's do that for the hands. So because we learned our lesson, we're going to go ahead and do Shift D, duplicate that. And that's why you do that. I know I just did that out of habit, but it's like, I don't know why I do that. But it's so that. You know, the IK has a really accurate target. And IK dot L. And I actually don't want a parent quite yet. We're going to fix it up. It's not a deform. I'm going to make sure it's not deforming either. I didn't think that. Do the same thing here. Shift add there and elbows. Make them bigger so they're easier to grab. I find that. Um, I mean, I haven't tried making them bigger, but lately I've been getting ticked off when I can't find my knees and my bones when I'm animating. Um, excuse me, knees and elbows. And there's better ways you can do that. You can create, you know, your rig can be more advanced and have some nice stuff with, you know, you have like unique shapes that are easy to identify and grab. Go ahead and parent this to the Two armature. There it is the hand. Target is elbow. Grab that IK. Pull it up just to see. Yeah, but quite what we want. Want it to go towards that here. Check out what angle looks best. A little whack because if we go up, we're like not totally targeting it. Okay. 
Anyone? May. I can see that's not cool. It's a target. It's like it's not gonna be like totally accurate, you know. Calculation. Not bad. I like to do the same thing with the hand where like you can rotate this and it'll actually rotate the hand. So you just have that one thing that you mess with. That. Okay. Okay. Dot R. Rather than duplicating, don't care if this one for some reason. See, I will duplicate that one because it is um parented the way I want. Dot, dot, boop, boop. Uh, uh, names. Same thing. Excuse me. Not happy for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Should it be one? Am I wrong here? Fine. What's the matter, my good dude? Not liking it. <laughs> Armature? Thank you, don't I? What do I? I really don't understand. Yep, still man. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Start over. What did I do wrong there? This is not all right. Gonna double check. And it's not parented, right? No parent on this bone. It does have a parent. That's the problem. So it kind of creates an infinite loop because it's like parented to itself, but it's applying the IK to the. Um, To that same bone so it like kind of creates a loop you know what i'm saying yeah, the same spot Pretty good. Uh, you get some cool behaviors like that. Um, in this case, the one of these IKs is parented to the 
Something but nothing. I don't want to do that. Test. Again, it, it's actually pretty common that you'll want to be able to interpolate between being parented and not. Um, but for the sake of this, parented on the chest, I find it easier. Some people don't. like They like to... I find it easier when I'm doing animations or I'm like rotating around this, throwing punches and stuff. It's like easier to do such things. Um, and that way, like when I'm like rotating and doing the actual animation. You know, the hand like follows along, but you may not want that. You know, up to you. Matrix. Abby. Is it all fudged up or is it just rotated? Sometimes you get some real whack stuff. That's horrible and it should be obliterated. <laughs> We'll get to it. I'll fix it off screen. We'll be cool. Going very long, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I should stop the stream and then I'll make it separate and can't think. I think that's a good idea. Generally, like I say, I'll probably be back, and then I say I won't be, and I won't be back actually. Um, dude, I kind of want to like animate her earrings right away first, though. That's another thing about having like, you know, ponytail and earrings and things like that. I mean, you get these secondary animations that are really easy to do in 3D. I um, mean, you can even simulate them if you want, like you see with hair and capes and things. It just like adds so much. It looks really good. I just like earrings a lot. <laughs> Did bring it down. I lost some. Not sure that's the solution either. I just want to go to. I'll be working on this. I've done this a million times where I do that and then it looks like it didn't. Just need more geometry to. Can't help it, I'm an artist and see bad art. It's like you can fix it, it's what you do. What you do. Do though. <laughs> Loop cut doesn't work well when it's deformed. I don't care. You think I care? Blender. Blender. You think I care? What am I doing? <laughs> I never know what to do with it at this point. It's like
What is happening? <laughs> save and like i mentioned we'll go ahead and stop the stream and then people can jump ahead if they don't want to watch this one they can just watch another video put a warning on it it's like yo it's kind of a long sort of animating thing check out the beginning where we concept the character that part was cool I'm a dumb anime. Big dumb head. <laughs> that looks so bad. It's just like, I'm just trying to crack like this one part, I swear. I mean, it's not like I'm lying. I don't always say I swear, but it's like, please understand, I guess. <laughs> <clears> Throw <throat> hurts a bit. I'm like getting sick. I think I sat with my mouth open, you know, one of those, and it was really cold. Spring in Wyoming is random. Ugh, freezing one day, snowstorm the other day for the past few days, and then Ugh. 70 this weekend. Okay, four realies. Thanks for watching. If you made it through, you're a real hero. We're all rigged up, ready to go. We'll do some simple animations, add it to the character in there. I'm gonna get a drink, take a break, break the stream. That way you'll see you next stream, which is gonna be shortly, I promise. Even if we just do a quick animation and then pop it into Unity and not actually implement it to our character's movement yet. I should have prepared more. Um, I wanted to do the face. And just unprepared is the main thing. It's just God, stop. All right. Catch y'all in a bit.